Welcome back to the Everything Eevee Challenge. Today we're taking on Kabu, the fire gym. But first we gotta prepare. Gotta look through what berries we got and uh, give them to some people. We have some citrus berries. Just in case, because we've already lost two Pokemon and we can't afford to lose another. And those three are gonna be the ones we win with. So, let's give them everything ground moves. Uh, let's up Vaporeon just a little bit. Very good. Okay. I think we're ready to do this challenge. Uh, swap in Vaporeon. There we go. All right. So we got to knock out a certain amount of Pokemon. Mm, let's go grab an Ether really quick. Can I buy an Ether just in case? Because I'm going to have to be using a Water Pulse a whole lot, right? So do I have... I have one ether. Can you buy ether? Excuse me. I know I have some other water moves, but um, I would like a little bit more assurance than what I've got, but it doesn't look like I am going to get that. Okay, that is not helpful. We got one ether that gives me plus 10. And we've got Vaporeon who has 20. So that gives me 30 water pulses. 30 water pulses to beat the entire gym. Uh, let's grab some great balls, I guess, so I can catch and get a couple more points with catching Pokemon rather than having to defeat them all. Maybe that'll give me a little bit of an edge. Yeah. Okay. Because Vaporeon's going to be doing most of the, uh, the hard work here. So, let's go for it. Really hoping that uh, nothing bad happens to Vaporeon because I really don't have a lot of options here. Okay, got your fire badge. Okay. Uh, Troll King, I'm absolutely not lying whatsoever when I put the true Troll Castle grand finale in the description of Troll Castle 50. <laughs> you see it's morally wrong, wrong to lie. It is morally wrong to lie. That is correct. Let's do this. I know I talked about this once, but we were listening to a debate that was hosted on um, Pints with Aquinas, the podcast, about whether or not you can lie. And these two people took such polar opposite stances that were incredible. You know, you have this uh, Catholic father, uh, priest, who was basically saying it's never okay to lie, even if you're, you know, in the Holocaust and trying to hide people, it's, it's not okay to lie. And you have the, this other doctor coming out who's saying that we lie every day, and it, it's about who has the right to know the knowledge. And as far as I know, the Catholic Church still doesn't have an official stance on that position. It used to be in the catechism, and it's been removed, and it's, you know, it wasn't an oversight. Was it correct? Was it incorrect? It's um, super interesting. Very interesting philosophical debate. Something I live for. I love me a good philosophical debate. Okay. So, we need to... Catch the Vaporeon, or catch the Vulpix. So if we take out the Roly Coley. 
There we go. Take the hit. What? He used my... Oh, it burned up my... That little scumbag. He burned up my citrus berry. Okay. I think this is the most effective way we can do this. Oh, no, no, no. That is not good. That is really not good. That spite was very, very scumbag of... It's dropping my ability. That is not good. Alright, let's, uh... I guess let's try and catch it. Uh, we Super Mario Maker 2 troll levels career, after all, would never lie. Absolutely not. Okay. That is... That is not good. So maybe we need to take out the Vulpixes all together. Because that spite is going to ruin us if... If they're allowed to keep that. Um... Sand attack is really good. Bite is really good. Double kick. I need the fighting move. Oh, let's drop bite. I want to keep double kick just to have the, the other abilities to use. Okay, that should give me three points. Into the box you go. Two points. Okay, everything that could go wrong is going wrong here, so... We're going to switch up the strategy here. Or not. We're just going to get bullied by the AI. Here we go. Okay. Claim the point. How many points do I need to get? Is it three or six? I don't remember. Okay. Hopefully this will take out the sizzlepeed. Okay, save one. Save one move, they were really low on moves already because that darn Vulpix's ability. And we still have to get through the whole gym. Okay, it's good. Take the hex. Let's not one shot the Litwick. Oh, I forgot. Okay. okay, Litwick is gonna kill me if I don't take it out, so. This is not going how I want it to go at all. This is going very poorly. One more to victory, okay. We can still we can still work with this. We can still we can still make this work. We just gotta uh, heal up Wave Morion. Burn heal. Let's not take on the Volpix because we don't want to get spited again. Let's take on the Sizzlepeed. Is going to fake out me again. Yep. Come on, one shot it. No.
the heck is this? Did I get any worse luck on these fights? We're about to find out. Okay. So, we still got most of our moves. We got to fight, what, three or four Pokemon? So, we should be maybe okay with this. We're maybe okay still. Maybe. Sorry if you hear that. My cat is throwing a tantrum because he can't go outside because he's not allowed outside. And so he's screaming at the door because I guess that's what you do when you really want to go outside and can't. Alright. What do we got here? How many of your moves? You have 12 and 11. Okay. We should be okay. Here we go. Slow walk with no noise. I think we'd get some hype up music or something like that, but uh, nope, just just walking out to nothingness. All right, last time we did a Nuzlocke, this guy absolutely destroyed us. So let's hope that we have a little bit more better luck and skill this time around. Okay, three Pokemon. Starting with the Ninetales. Start with that burn, of course. Oh, nice. We confused it. That could be really good for us. Nah, not so lucky. Alright, one down. That burn is going to chip away at us, though. Yep. Arc 9, which means he's probably going to bite me, which will put me down into the yellow. Probably. Well, not quite that bad. Oh, nice. Two confusions. Jiraiya. Welcome in, Jiraiya. Ooh, we got lucky. We got lucky. Confusion went off. Saved us some HP. How are you doing this morning, Jiraiya? Okay. Here comes the Dynamax. When did he have an Arcanine? I'm pretty sure he's always had an Arcanine, hasn't he? I think. Alright, we're gonna... We're going to Whirlpool because he's going to take out Vaporeon. So let's get that super effective damage going. And then we'll try and confuse him before he takes out Vaporeon. Okay, we can do this. Waking up and drinking your coffee? I already drank all my coffee this morning. I kind of want more, though. Okay, that wasn't terrible. We can get one more hit off, I think, so let's try and confuse him. And there goes Vaporeon. Vaporeon. 
Okay. I think Bubbles can finish this fight. Come on, Bubbles. You can finish this fight. Disarming voice. Not very effective. That is not good. Alright, uh, double kick, I guess. No, Bubbles is not going to finish this fight, I don't think. Go for it, I guess. You want to make Troll Castle 50 super long? If it's going to be the finale, you might as well, right? Gotta, gotta do the finale. No, oh, Bubbles managed to pull it out there. Way to go, Bubbles. Wouldn't hurt to go for a second to coffee once in a while. It's going to tell you if you ever want to do a shiny hunt, you should uh, run in Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu. You found seven shinies in four hours. I was just thinking about Let's Go Eevee because uh, apparently Best Buy has it on sale for um, half off, which is pretty rare. So I might, uh, might get Let's Go Eevee. Continue to wear the hat. All right. That wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. We actually uh, managed to get through that pretty painlessly. Okay. Got my gym badges. TM for worthless will-o'-wisp. That's no good to me, but thank you. I really should have kept one of those Eevees unevolved so that I could um, have some more move variety in a normal type. Really should have done that. But, we're going to play with the cards we were dealt. So let's find out where we're going next. Because I don't remember. Again, you'd think I'd remember this after playing this game so many times, but I still don't remember where the heck we're going. Okay. Okay. All signals off, but where are we going to? Are you going to tell me what they are or who they are, or are you just going to give me inspirational words? I don't remember. Your Best Buy sounds amazing. I never find anything. And two of them you found, I got lucky and ran into her and the other one with no gender. Uh, well, I don't know for sure if our uh, Best Buy has this stuff for sale. Someone on TikTok said it, so you know when it comes from TikTok, who knows if it's actually true or not. So... Hopefully. Not that I need any excuse to spend any more money. I was just looking at another drone last night, the DJI uh, Pro Mini 3 that has a vertical 4K camera and a 50-ish, like 48 megapixel camera. Like, oh my goodness, I want it so bad. And then uh, my other photography buddy was telling me that there's a new camera coming out today, or not today, but from Fujifilm that the rumor is that it's a wildlife camera, that it has a uh, specific mode set to uh, detect wildlife, so not just, like, auto-detecting faces, but detecting animals, which would be super awesome. So, if that's true, that might be a must-buy must, must buy for me, because, uh, as you saw from all the squirrel pictures I've been posting, like, wildlife photography is my thing. Uh, Creamy, welcome in. Hello. How are you doing? We're just chatting about some photography and Pokemon. Uh, I take it you're a Pokemon fan or maybe a photography fan? Both? Neither? I really want the, um, 
the photography, uh, the, the photo, if it does that, I really want it. Good, but I think you deserve a follow for no reason. I appreciate that. Y'all see this glitch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I forgot I set that as the, uh, the sound notification when I get those. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. My switch is dying. Like, that is a cool effect. Like, I, I wish, wish I could do something with that, but I'm pretty sure that's not what the game is supposed to look like. Um... Yeah, I think I'm about to get a new Switch here soon, because that's not right. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out today. We're doing an all Eevee Nuzlocke run, uh, so if you're a fan of Eevees, this is, this is the run for Eevees. And we just hit our revive point, so we got all of our Eevees back, and we're ready to... Maybe take on the next gym. I, I don't know what the next gym is, and I don't know what level it is. So I'm going to need to look that up, I think. Thank you, Jiraiya. I appreciate that. All right, it's raining, so Vaporeon should be stronger, so... Yeah. And now it's going to leave. Okay. Does anyone know what the next gym is and what level it is? Because I need to know what I'm getting myself into next. <laughs> okay, let's go check it out. Let's get to the next area. Maybe grab some more berries. I don't know how fast the berries respawn. I know I just grabbed them, but we could definitely use some more berries. Let's change to Afterburner. Okay. Get some berries. There we go. And once more. Grab all those berries. Since that dirt bag Vulpix was burning our berries, I didn't know they could do that. A very mean thing for them to do. I was just thinking we hadn't run into any Pokemon in the trees yet, so I guess it was a matter of time. Okay, we should we should be okay here, right? Managed to flinch it. You would never hide a bouncy platform under stairs to bounce the player back to the start. <laughs> I I know when it comes to Pokemon that a lot or not Pokemon, uh Mario Maker, a lot of people hate those things that like send you back to the start level, but I think they're hilarious sometimes. This thing is not having any luck, is it? That is good for me though. Didn't even touch my team. Let's get all those berries. Graveyard wants to learn synthesis. Is that the move that heals you? Yes. Okay. Um. I don't want to know all grass moves. And their attack is way better than their special attack. So let's get rid of Magic Leaf. Okay. Need some move variety in here because uh, it's not gonna not gonna look great towards end game if everyone has only one set of moves, which is why I want to keep double kick. But double kick really isn't that great right now because Bubbles is not a physical attacker, so we might have to reconsider that as well. Let's see. It's been a fairly quiet morning this morning. Everyone's uh, still waking up, apparently. I can't click the right buttons. There we go. OK. 
Okay, we got the leaks. No far fetch though, so that's not very useful. People are gonna hate you. What'd you figure out to do this time? All right, there we go. Leech seed and synthesis are great because you'll take forever to faint uh, over power. That's what I'm thinking. That um, either for the gigantamaxing or for some of those uh, harder fights, maybe stalling them out with those two should give me a little bit of an ability to uh, to hang in the hang in there. So graveyard will be my staller. I still wish I had the Jolteon for flying. I don't have anything really good against flying yet or fighting, so I really should have grabbed Jolteon or Umbreon. But again, we're gonna we're gonna work with what we got here. Okay, so are you gonna tell me what this gym leader is? Like some wishing stars. Okay. Okay. You hit a bouncy platform to bounce someone up to the start. Well, that's one way to make your levels longer. <laughs> okay. More wishing stars. Those moves are going to be sort of useless with G-Maxing, but good thing G-Maxing isn't in the picture. <laughs> well, it is for my opponents. They get to cheat and use it. I don't... I don't want a history lesson. I want to know what I'm fighting. Is the next gym the fighting gym? I, I seriously can't remember. <laughs> and none of these NPCs are giving me help. Or we don't do this one yet, right? Because this is the dragon gym. So this is like Leon. This is the ending gym. Now we just got to go through a whole bunch of talking and talking and talking. Okay, head over to race. Uh, we're still doing the, the talking. I know every time I play Pokemon games, I bring this up, but it seriously is worth bringing up. Like, I wish there was better buttons for skipping the story and the things and all the talking and all that because I just I have no interest in like any of the Pokemon stories. I've never. I've never read a Pokemon story and been like, wow, I'm so impressed by the writing in that story. Like, they're they're there because people expect them to be there. I know some people enjoy them, so I don't want them to take away the story. You know, I want people to still be able to enjoy the story if they want to, to enjoy the story, right? But I don't enjoy it, and I'd like more ways to skip it, please. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not sure I remember. I think it was fighting, but I know for sure after this gym will be fairy. The fairy gym will also be a tough one. Let's see, can we find anything that will make me Eevee-ish? Zippered parka. Cute. Berry forest. I don't see anything that will make me very uh Eevee-ish, but I can be uh, sponsored by by Razor. <laughs> uh, let's get that green going. Let's get that poison type. Uh, any poison moves should be good against Fairy. I don't think I know any poison moves, so that could be that could definitely be an issue. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone has any. <laughs> poison movie fairy effective I uh yeah I don't think I get that luck and let's grab the poison hat too yes very sharp or steel moves I don't think I don't think I have any steel moves either. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't think I have either of those. Uh... 
Maybe no gloves. Maybe I should just take those off. Oh, well, maybe not. There we go. I guess we'll we'll take that. Yeah, no steel, no poison. Um, I have fighting, fire, water, fairy, uh, psychic. and grass. The fact that Eevee has a tail but can't learn Iron Tail, and yet Mankey can, or Primeape. Yeah, I think Primeape can earn those. Okay, let's see here. Bullet Seed, have no need there. Uh, fire Spin could be okay. We'll consider that one. Brian, Thief, Sandstorm, Rain, Sunny Day, Hail. All right, let's grab Fire Spin and Rain Dance. Or it's long, long running rival Pikachu. They sleep. Sleep on Eevee too much. <clears throat> can't can't Pikachu learn Iron Tail? I mean Pikachu can learn Surf. I'm pretty sure I was one of those cool Easter eggs back in the day if you were playing on an N64. Well, I think if I can remember it correctly, it was something like if you beat the N64 Pokemon Coliseum with a Pikachu that you imported from Pokemon Yellow, and then you move that Pokemon back to Pokemon Yellow, then um, he could learn Surf. I think it was the first time Pikachu could learn Surf. And that was a, a cool little Easter egg. But, so Easter eggs and those cool things hidden in games have kind of lost their gusto, I guess. Because, like, Nowadays, it's like, oh, there's a secret in a video game? Let me Google that secret and watch a guide exactly on how to do it. When it used to be like, your friends would tell you, oh, did you know if you use strength on the truck on Route 5, then you'll find a Mew hiding under it, and it's the only way to catch a Mew? Like, those playground rumors were the best for video games, and I'm so sad to see, see them go. That... And they, they still exist, right? They're still hidden things, but people find them so fast and they just, like, hack open the game to look at all the secrets that were missed. There's one that still bothers me to this day, and I haven't gotten an official answer on it, but way, way back in the days of when World of Warcraft kind of first came out, there was, of course, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of references in World of Warcraft and pop culture references and different things like you could find uh, Link's bow or boomerang from Legend of Zelda all sorts of things like that but one of the GMs came in and said hey did you know that there are some undiscovered quests and undiscovered secrets there are some easter eggs that no one has found yet and that was like one or two expansions in and to this day they haven't answered whether or not someone has found those quests are not. There are achievements for completing every quest in the game, but there are some quests that don't count towards that, right? So there could still very well be a hidden quest somewhere in the game or a hidden thing that no one has ever seen or found. And I really want to know if that's true or not. I'd really like to know if there's still one more hidden thing out there that no one's seen yet. It'd be super fun to try and discover. Where are we going? Uh, map. Head on to Stow on side. Okay. So, I really, really want to discover that. And there's some cool, like, really, 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 really hidden things that you would say, how the heck is anyone supposed to um, figure those out in WoW? Like, um, one of the, the mounts you had to find, you had to go find like seven pebbles that were hidden all across the world and they were super tiny and you had to zoom in and like the hints were super obscure and hard to find so I know those exist but 
how people figure that out, I will I will never know how people figure that out. Um, let's see. We're up against Team Yell again here. Um, I don't really think I have anything super effective against Normal anymore. Because uh, Double Kick is not, not the vibe anymore. It was a good start to the game, but definitely not... Uh, not working anymore. All right. Oh, yeah, it's a double battle. Okay. I remember we lost here on one Nuzlocke, too, because we got super unlucky. Let's take him out. Here we go. Okay, we got a Stunky. Oh, sunlight is harsh. That is good for me. That's really good for me. Ooh, a critical too. Okay, I dig it. The noon. Let's burn it too. Ooh. That is not good. Okay. Didn't one shot us. That is good. Let's swap on over. Okay. Lower my attack. That is a okay. We should still one shot it. There we go. Okay, they're level 30-ish, so the next gym should be about 32 or 33, so I think we'll be okay there. <laughs> I love those sounds. I spent a lot of time putting those sounds on and making those sounds. Because, like, I didn't want to just use someone else's sound, right? So I had to sit there and edit my own sounds and do things like that. I'm so glad I did. It was definitely worth it, but it took some time. All right, let's swap to Bubbles again. It's a voice I developed for one of my favorite characters in the game I used to run. It was a uh, Lucha Lobo, who is a uh, luchador werewolf. I would love if someday I had the talent to make a comic book to bring him to life, but I'm pretty sure I don't have the artistry skills to bring such a creature to life. All right, let's heal up a little bit, huh? There we go. Use that Pokemon as a Poke Center, basically. When does... Ooh, Fire Fang. Okay. I was just going to ask when he learns... Um flamethrower, but fire thing might be better. Yeah, because his special attack's not high. He's physical, so let's learn fire thing instead. You loved Lucha Libre so much when you were younger. Was that the, uh, the show with, like, the three kids? There was, like, the flea and... That's the only one I can remember from that show. I didn't watch it very much. Was that what Lucha Libre was? The blue mask? All right. Are you going to heal me up? No? You're just going to run off? Okay, then. Thanks for nothing, Hop. There's actually some wrestling going on uh, this weekend here in Salem, and I'm thinking about maybe going because uh, photography and wrestling, yeah. Especially if they do some cool moves where you like grab uh, grab them and uh, like when they lift them up and do like those really athletic moves. 
I'd love to get some shots of that, so it might be worth uh, showing up. Uh, no, they had real people doing it in Mexico. It was like uh, Latino WWE. I know what you're talking about, LT, right? <laughs> yeah, there were there was like a a really bad show that was all about like luchador wrestling that I never watched. But uh, I do like the real thing. I'd like to see more luchador wrestling in real life. Uh, I was actually really surprised to see the new WWE game had a luchador for WWE 2022 had a luchador on the front. I know it wasn't like huge and there was like was like uh, Rey Mysterio who did it, but that was like his gimmick. But I understand there's a lot more a lot more history behind like the actual luchadors. Like there's a whole culture and there's a whole bunch I don't understand about it but I would really like to because I've always really liked it I've always thought it was really cool so I'd definitely love to um, to get to see that and learn more about it uh, there was what was that old game with King the wrestler who wore the the, the lion not the lion um, the tiger mask uh, you know that, that really got me interested in as a kid uh, but the difference was it was more real like no play unless they were bribed I know there's, like I said, I know there's a whole history to it. And I don't know all the history and all the stuff that goes behind it, but um, I want to know more. And I'd love, like I said, I'd love to go to get photography. Like when people are doing those jumps off of stands and things like that, if you can get them in air, like such cool photos. So I might go. I might see if I can convince Emmy to go this weekend to go watch the wrestling because. They're so athletic. And I know that people talk about like, oh, well, all of wrestling is, you know, fake and staged. Like, you still have to be so athletic to do it, right? Like, even if you're faking hitting them, but you jumped three times in the air and did a somersault and landed so you don't hurt them, like, the sheer, the sheer athleticism you have to have to do that is impressive. Whether or not it's staged, who cares? Oh, it looks like I was right to send out Bubbles. We've got uh, Fairy versus Fairy. I don't think that's going to be very effective for us, but... Uh... That's right, that's not effective against Fairy. I don't think Fairy is super effective against Fairy either. Is it weak? No? Seems to work just okay. All right, we're okay here then. I used to collect Lucha Masks. It's so awesome. Uh, Y'all ever watch Nacho Libre? It's so funny. Uh, yes. I never never watched it originally, but I'm pretty sure... Oh. Fell in love. Adorable. I'm pretty sure that's one of the movies that Emmy was like, you have to watch it. And so we finally watched it, and it was everything everyone said it would be and more. So... It was a good movie. The only movie I, I don't don't understand from that era is Napoleon Dynamite. Like, I know everyone quoted it and everyone loved it for so long, but I really, really didn't understand people's obsession with not um, Napoleon Dynamite when that came out. Jack Black has the best personality in the world. I agree. Like when we're when we're talking about streamers, when I talk uh, streaming with Emmy. Uh, you know, we talk about like why do why do some people watch certain streamers? Like, I don't understand it. And I know that's ironic for me to say as a streamer, but like, I, I haven't found too many streamers that I actually like enjoy watching because I have a very very like picky taste towards it. But I can understand why people would want to watch Jack Black. Like, that guy is an entertainer through and through. So I can see wanting to sit down and watch him for hours because even if he's just playing a video game and talking, he's going to have really interesting things to say. Um, this thing's metronome is kicking my butt. So I can understand wanting to sit down and watch Jack Black stream for hours and hours on end. Uh, but there's some things that, man, this thing's metronome is just getting out of control. Heal me back up. You did way too much damage. Ooh, critical. Okay. There we go. Get 
some level ups. He is awesome. All of his movies are good. We listen to Tenacious D every now and then. Um, like, I I can't find a single complaint against the guy. I, I really couldn't. I would struggle to think of anything that I don't like about Jack Black. He just seems like all around a fun, good guy. And I really hope that that never changes because every time you start to think, oh, well, I like that celebrity, they end up in the news for doing something. And I really hope that Jack Black can uh, avoid the scandals. I hope that he uh, hasn't done anything scandal worthy. If you're doing the clear check for Troll Castle 50 before Troll Castle 48 and 49, you'll update me. Definitely keep me up to date on that. All right, this thing might know poison moves, which will be bad for me if it does. Uh, I don't really have a choice in moves here. Nothing's really great against it. But I think we might have to change out Pokemon. It's not worth the risk. Yeah, let's change. Uh, let's throw meat in. Jack seems fairly unproblematic. I hope so. I hope that's true. Uh, also, Weird Al. Uh, you know, I Weird Al has been in the game for a very long time and hasn't had anything really serious brought up against him from what I know. So I hope he can remain up there because Weird Al just seems like a great dude altogether. He just likes to have fun. He likes to do his thing. He was in... Excuse me. Uh, Weird Al was in My Little Pony. He did a character named Cheese that was hilarious and good. So he just seems like a good guy. So... I'd really hate for that to turn out to not be true. A Doug Trio. Al seems like a weirdo, but a good guy. I... I think so. I think so. He likes to do his own thing, and I, I can't blame him for that, right? Like, if you enjoy doing it, then just go do it, and that's exactly what it seems like he embodies, so more power to him. I, I really enjoy Weird Al. Like, in high school, the crowd that I hung out with was all about Weird Al. So I listened to, like, Albuquerque and Trapped in the drive Through and all those for so, so long. Did you find that shiny in-game? No. Uh, when everyone was trading me their EVs, um, someone traded me, a Bubbles traded me a shiny EV. Weird Al did a parody song called the eBay song. Yes. Um, the parody song was very good as well. Or the eBay song, excuse me. Uh, Jim Carrey is retiring. Ooh, what is uh, Morning Sun? The user stores its own HP, varies with the weather. That could be good. I mean, Jim Carrey's getting up there in age, isn't he? Like... I know some actors go and go and go, you know, until they can't do it anymore. I know, um, like, uh, I just wanted to call him Jean-Luc Picard, but, you know, that's not his name. Uh, Patrick Stewart is still in the game, but you know he's made enough money and enough of his career that he doesn't have to keep going, right? So, um, I understand, like, at some point you just want to enjoy your, your life and your wealth, right? Like, you can't keep acting forever, especially if you've got the means to retire, I couldn't imagine being in the spotlight any longer than that. You were an edgelord in high school, so we skipped over Weird Al and went straight to Bloodhound Gang. <laughs> I think we all had that phase at one point. Alright, so we got... I think we're okay here. Take out that Togetic, and Razor Leaf should hit both. Okay, not super great, but... Okay, we're okay here. Okay, take out the Togetic, and then... Let me see that. There we go. Last night, uh, I had one of those dreams. It pops up every so often on Reddit where they ask, like, 
what would you do if you woke up, if you were eight years old again, but you had all the knowledge that you've obtained so far, how would you live your life? And I know the most common answer for everyone is like, oh, well, you know, I'd invest in Bitcoin and become a millionaire and all of that, which is all well and good. But so I had that dream. I had that dream last night where I woke up in my dream as I dreamed that I woke up and, you know, starting life over again. And my biggest question honestly wasn't about money. Um, cause it's cliche, but it's true that, you know, money can't buy happiness. There's certain memories that can't be bought with money. My main concern was how would I, how would I get my wife to fall in love with me again? I welcome in Salk. And I asked her this question at one point we were talking just one day about it. Like how could I go back and make her fall in love with me again? Because when you go through go through life again with all your knowledge, like all the circumstances that make an event happen are mind boggling to have to think about, right? Like, yes, I met my wife through Facebook. It was one Facebook post that happened on one night, but it's the series of event, right? I had all these events that led up to me being on Facebook on this one particular night and posting one post that she saw that she replied to that built this whole, this whole wonderful life that we have together. So the question is, I, I can't remember what day that was, right? I can remember the post, but I can't remember exactly what day it was on. So if we were, if I had to do it all again, could I do that? And yes, I could invest in Bitcoin. Yes, I could become a millionaire with all the knowledge that I had of you know the past and redoing it. But if I can't get Emmy again, if I can't get my wife again, then what's the point? And like, we talk about our house. One of my favorite favorite memories in our house was when we first moved into the house when we first first moved in like day two of moving into the house we had no food and there was a snowstorm and we had no heat and so we had to walk down to the local pizza place because it was too icy a drive and eat their mediocre pizza because we had no food in the house and then we came home with extra pizza and we're huddled around the one space heater we had to to heat the entire house because that was an oil heater and there was no oil in it because we just bought the house and there was nothing in it. Like, I know that seems silly, but that's like one of my favorite memories that I have. How could I recreate that? With all the knowledge I have, it just, it seems like that's not something that I would be able to recreate. And so a lot of people say, oh, I would love to, to change my life and all that so I can go back and get all this money, but you wouldn't have your same memories. You wouldn't have half of what you've got here. Like, is it, is it really worth it? Uh, what version am I playing? I am playing on Pokemon Sword. Yep, doing Sword, and I'm doing an Eevee Nuzlocke with only Eevee Lucians and Shinings. No Dynamaxing. You got it, Jiraiya. Uh, no items in combat, and when I swap out, I lose a turn, so... Lots of things up against me. There we go. Might be time to run back to a Poker Center, though. We're starting to all take a toll on everyone. They're all getting hurt here. So, you know, investing in Bitcoin is all well and good. But, again, what's what's the point? If, if I can't get my life back where it is now, why why would I want to do that is the the question I find myself asking. And I know a lot of people who answer that question, you know, they're they're either young or they they're they're not married or things like that. Um which is completely okay. I just for me it doesn't make any sense. I, I just couldn't fathom my life without Emmy in it and no amount of money would change that right like certainly there's a lot of things that i want to buy i was just talking about you know a thousand dollar drone i want and a six thousand dollar camera i want and a two thousand dollar lens i want and a thirty thousand dollar car i want and sure lots of wants but none of that matters right if if you don't have your soulmate with you then there's just that's all pointless it, it means nothing so i just i can't understand risking all of what I have for just a little bit of extra money. It, it just makes no sense to me. Is this person going to turn? All of my Pokemon are hurt. I really don't want to fight you. Oh, you scumbag. She almost, she almost just got me. The next gym is going to be Punch Punch. We're going to be doing the fighting gym next. That is definitely not what I want to hear. Let's see. Fighting. Well, actually, I have I have two psychic Pokemon, right? So the fighting gym should be 
one of the easier gyms since I have two Espeons, right? I, actually, I might be okay on this one. This might be easier than I thought. Uh, let's heal after Burner up. And we got one last trainer, and then we can go heal. What do you got here? An artist. She has a dark fighting type. What does that mean for me? Dark fighting. Oh, that means it's immune to psychic, right? I think. All right, down goes coughing. Espeon and Sylveon will send them packing home. I think so. Okay, Pseudo Wudo, this guy. This guy always gets me. He's a rock type. He might have ground. We don't want to mess around with him. Uh, so, Vaporeon. Dark is immune to psychic. Okay, so I need to use Sylveon against the dark fighting one. Okay. These pseudo wudos are always the biggest dirtbags in the entire game. No joke. They continually mess up my game. Like, look at this thing. Look at this monster. Okay, this is where things get really hard. Like... How do I stop this thing? When I swap out, it's just going to be one-shotting me. Do I go for trying to hit it with the water pulse and take it down? Risk losing Vaporeon for the next gym? Or do I swap out and... A grass type? Okay, we'll try a grass type. We've got a stall on Leafeon, so... At the very least, we can heal back up. Okay, that's not terrible. Let's implement our plan. And we miss. Woo! Synthesize comes in handy. Okay, leech seed that dirt bag. Uh, you're not allowed to use potions in combat. Nope, can't use potions. All right, I'll synthesize up again. He'll hit me, and then leech seed should cover me, and I can actually hit him. Yeah, now I can actually get a hit off. Way to go, Leafeon. Way to stall. And it dodged an attack. I told you, these pseudo wudos have it out for me. These are like the worst thing I've ever fought in Pokemon. They continually ruin my Nuzlocke challenges. There we go. I despise pseudo wudos so much. At least he leveled a whole team up. My first time I encountered Pseudo Wudo made me think the game was broken. I was raging like, no way my Quilava isn't beating a tree, not knowing it was a rock. Yup, that is... It, it's gotten me. I know what a Pseudo Wudo is, and it's it's fooled me before, so I, I feel you 100% on that. It's happened to me too many times. And it's clever, right? Because uh, Pseudo Wudo is like... Oh, it's fake wood. It's petrified wood. It's, it's a rock, so... It makes sense, but... I'll be darned if they're not still absolute dirtbags the entire time. There we go. Everyone is healed up. Pokemark guy, what do you got? Here to buy. Nothing good. All right. I know there's a whole bunch of items around here worth picking up. And I got, uh, um, Dig. I'm hoping I can teach that to someone. 
I doubt it, but you have a Salpha pseudo and platinum and it was a terrifying battle. They are dirt bags. They want to block the way like Psyducks and Snorlax. Ooh. Oh, ah. Vino Shock. That could be good. Poison moves could be used. I do act I just thought I do have one poison move for the next gym. I have uh I have smog. <laughs> Not sure that counts as a uh a good enough poison move, but I do have one poison move for the next fight, so that's good, I think. All right, let's see. Let's go find there's there's digger fly around here, right? Uh, I do not know who can learn these moves. All right, hop. Don't fight me. I don't want to fight you right now. Yes, go get stronger. Okay, I'll fight you. Okay, what do we got? He's going to open with the flying. I think I think Leafeon's okay here. Oh no, I have Flareon. I think I'm still okay. It's blue so water. I don't know if it has a water move or not, does it? It does appear to be a water type. Uh, so we got a little bit lucky there. Just a little bit of luck. <laughs> that could have been disastrous. <laughs> I expected him to use a water move, so I thought, oh, I'll throw in my my grass type to to absorb that water move, but uh, apparently that was not how that logic worked, so maybe he doesn't have a water move. That's okay. Toxel, that's lightning. Okay. Super effective. We got the leech seed up though, so let's move. Um, swap. He could have gotten a Pikachu and smacked your Flareon. <laughs> the bird is evil and tried to eat Pikachu. I just saw, just saw a video of that. All right, we should be okay here. Okay. Next, he's going to bring out his starter, right? Yeah. So Leafeon could be here, but Leafeon's already hurt, so let's just try and take this on in a fair fight. I think we should be okay. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay, down it goes. And then what's his last Pokemon? What's he got as a last surprise for us? Is it his Snorlax? Silicobra. All right, let's just keep side beaming. Oh, that's nice. What? <laughs> it paralyzed me, so I paralyzed it, but it can unparalyze itself? That doesn't seem fair. Oh, and there's... There's the paralysis. Alright, I don't want to risk losing Syrup. For the next fight, so let's throw in Vaporeon. Even if it's got a super effective move against me, it shouldn't one-shot me, so we should be okay. Pretty 
pretty sure I'm faster than it, so this will miss, and then it'll hit me with the dig. There we go. Okay, take it down. There we go. Why do all snakes learn the move glare? Because isn't that like uh, the snake eyes? Like It makes me think of like, uh, was it Aladdin? Uh, the snake had like the, the hypnotic eyes. That's why I always thought it was like that, but I could be wrong. Yes, Hop, you are weak. Now get out of here. Run away. Okay. The Pokemon that can mess you up uh, has the big metal barb Aegis Slash. Big metal burb. I'm trying to think of who you mean. All right, here we go. Shed skin is an awesome ability. You know, I never really considered Pokemon abilities. It was never something that I really, like, uh, put a lot of thought into. But as I'm getting better at Pokemon, I can definitely see how those small abilities can make such a huge difference in your fights. Okay, there should be a hidden TM over here. Cracked pot. That's not helpful. Okay. Nothing useful. So. We got Fire Spin. Rain Dance. Oh, anyone can learn Rain Dance. That could be really... That could be useful. Anyone can learn Charm. Ooh, everyone can learn Dig. Ooh. That. That could be helpful. Okay, everyone can learn Dig. No one can learn Vino Shock. Okay, so let's see who who should learn Dig. We need people who have raw attack power. So Flareon, Leafeon. Flareon and Leafeon. Okay, let's teach them Dig so we have a little bit of extra moves to use here. Uh, TM. Dig. Okay. Drop Covet and learn Dig instead. And Afterburner. We'll keep Smog for what we can use. Drop Covet and learn Dig. Awesome. That is the boost that we needed. That is a little bit more elemental moves, just in case things go wrong. I like moves like that, because it can help with double battles, but just to have max out speed so it'll go first. Yeah, uh, max out speed. I, I never realized how important speed was too, but gain to go first can definitely be the difference between winning and losing a battle as well. All right, it is 6.45, which means that it's time for prayer. For anyone new with us, uh, feel free to join in. If you're not comfortable joining in, that is okay as well. We just like to pray as a group at 6.45. I will go ahead and lead us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this blessed day, and thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you give me. 
time with friends and family. Thank you for the blessing that is my wonderful wife who carries me through each day. Thank you for your love, your grace, and all that you bestow upon me, Lord. It is not wasted on me. Thank you. Lord, help me to orient myself towards you today. Help me to ensure that everything that I do today is pleasing to you and help others to ensure everything that they do is pleasing to you as well. Lord, you are truly right and just. We pray for those in Ukraine and Russia. Bring an end to the war. Bring an end to the bloodshed. Help all those in those areas grow closer to you and through grow closer to you. Bring an end to the war and bring about peace. Lord, I pray for those who are currently missing across the United States, those who are far from home, who have wandered away, or even uh, forcibly have been taken from their homes on our missing. Lord, help to bring them home safe and sound. Lord, help them to grow close to you and be close to you, and through that love, make it through those difficult times. Lord, I pray for all those who are currently lurking, looking for work. We're currently going through hard times in the United States and all across the world with recessions and issues with the pandemic continuing to go on. Help those who are seeking employment to find those jobs, to find fulfillment, and through finding those jobs and fulfillment, find faith and love in you, Lord. All this I pray in your name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Let's, uh, can we take on this gym? I feel like we should already be ready for this gym, right? Actually, let's throw, let's throw syrup all the way in. We got a few minutes here so we can start the gym and then we'll probably have to save and save the rest of it for tomorrow. What kind of a ball you got for me today? Thank you, Jariah. I'm trying to trying to get better at it every day. But you know, the best prayers come from the heart, right? So whatever whatever strikes you, strikes you. The um one of the things that I, I truly enjoy about the Catholic faith and one of the uh, things that I truly enjoy about the church is the idea that the, uh, the Holy Spirit has come down upon the church, so it will never lead the church astray. The church will never be defeated. Now, it's not to say that people, people might be bad and people might do bad things in the church and there could be some things that happen there. But there's this idea that overall the Holy Spirit protects the church so that it will never fall and I, I should be better about invoking the Holy, Holy Spirit to come down upon me when I'm praying to ensure that, you know, the prayers that I give are right and correct and that, uh, you know, God is watching over me as I pray to ensure the things that I pray for are right and correct. Because there is a wrong way to pray. I have learned that, you know, uh, especially if you're going out there and just saying, Lord, I want this, this, and this, like, Sometimes it's about losing your ego to yourself, right? And doing what the Lord wants you to do and not what you want to do. And that's that's hard, right? But that's that's what we should be asking for. Not, not what we want, but what the Lord wants for us is a more right and proper way to, to hope for a better life, I suppose, is a good way of putting it. If you play shield, you fight the ghosts. I, I don't think I've ever fought the uh, the ghost trainer, so I don't even think I've seen it, to be honest. Oh, Stuffle. I despise you, Stuffle. Let's hope we can one-shot you. We can. Stuffle is another arch-nemesis who has ruined many a good runs. Now we don't need Misty Terrain for now. Okay, same thing. Hope for a one shot. Hope that doesn't retaliate. Though there are wicked upon us, there are still some that are more pure. Beware is terrifying. Yes, beware is. The worst part is they have so much HP that all they have to do is no retaliate, and then you hit them, and they, you know, you almost one shot it, and then they just turn around and one shot you, and that has happened to me at least like three times. So, 
They are terrifying. There are certain Pokemon that have become my arch nemeses as we've been playing these, and those are one of them. Do you have level constraints in this lock? I try and make sure that I never overlevel the gym too much, but also, you know, I haven't I haven't put like super a lot of thought into it. Like I haven't been looking up every gym before I do it to ensure that I'm the right level. So I'm just kind of playing with what the game gives me. So I try and not over level it, but I might I might miss it by a level or two. Kills people with hugs. Yes, it does. All right, last last fight, and then we gotta go to work. I just uh, I'm gonna go get my car later today too. I'm really excited to go get my car back, but I just got quoted. It's gonna be one thousand two hundred dollars to fix all the brakes and all the things on my car, and that was. That was a painful number to be quoted. Let me tell you, I was not expecting. I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be like four or five hundred dollars," but I can I can survive that. But uh, one thousand two hundred dollars really hurts. I am I am not excited to be paying that money out. I know who can mess you up. The last gym, last Pokemon. Leon's Pokemon, that gym, or a different one. Okay, I think we have time to do one more fight. That one went kind of fast, actually, so maybe. Let's see if we can. Let's go up. Roy? Okay, go over here. Up. Spin over here. Leon definitely will mess me up. There's no doubt about that. But I think I, I think we can maybe get this. We've been doing pretty good so far. All right, this should be the last trainer, so we can prepare for the gym fight first thing tomorrow morning. Hopefully, this guy's got a Hitmonlee. Yeah. Dragons are going to be tough for me. I don't think I have anything that's going to be super good against dragons. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't... I thought Revenge was just about ready to mess me up, but I forgot that it's super weak against me, so... That could have... That could have been a game-ender right there. One more. What do you got? I think they got a hit on Chan next. Yeah. Roy uses a dragon that resists fairy. Okay. It's good to know. Or it does neutral. Okay. You guys have a lot of confidence in me to get that far. <laughs> Let's get through the first gyms first. <laughs> Alright, let's set ourselves up to the first success the next time we play. We'll make sure that we heal so we don't actually run into the fight with our hurt Pokemon. And we'll save. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's good to see you all and talk with you. I'll be streaming again tomorrow morning, of course. First thing in the morning, 5.30, 5.45 a.m. We'll beat this gym. Uh, for anyone new here, there is links in the About Me to the TikToks. If you want to see more original content, a link to my photography page if you're interested in photography, and a link to the YouTube channel so you can watch the rest of this series if you're interested in it. Thank you everyone once again for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow.